Hi there, Capricorn Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to take a look at what you don't see coming and when that might be happening, okay? So let's take a look here. What you don't see coming. You can feel, feel, feel totally free to check out your individual signs. Um, if this one, you feel like it's not over for you, okay? So let's see. We have self-acceptance, ooh, shadow treasures, and healing grief. This is sounding like I'm a bad bitch, I know it, and now I'm about to receive my blessings for it, you know? Uh, so whatever this uh, resonates for you, you know, I kind of feel like I'm kind of smelling a little bit like uh, career-wise, even though I was actually wanting to mention, I just lit this candle for you, it's like uh, pinkish, and that could very well be a symbol for you of like perhaps new love coming in, but I honestly, I kind of feel like this could be about career though. Um, but I do feel like, you know, it's everything is related with how you're viewing yourself, how you're connecting with yourself. And I feel like you have been working really, really hard on that connection, on that view. You may have been healing a lot of uh, wounds from the past, specifically, uh, perhaps even from your childhood. A lot of things that were kind of sabotaging your connection with yourself and your movement forward in your life and towards the dreams that you want, the, the, the goals that you have. And I feel like you have been doing an amazing job. I really feel like you have. And because of it, boom, shadow treasures. I would even say that may, there may have been something that um, didn't quite work out or hasn't been working out. You know, for example, if this is a career, maybe there's a business that you own. Uh, maybe there is, um, I don't know, like a dream that you have and, and things just haven't really been going the way that you expected them to go. I would say that you could have like another shot where it's like you may do a little bit of an adjustment you may receive an opportunity to do things in a little different way um and that may actually like speed things up that may actually move your career forward and you may receive a lot of prosperity and money through it so let's see here let's try and get some more information so we have abracadabra with wings fantastic good fortune and lucky chances look at that we also have water work with the element of water for healing and purification so there is that thing of really healing um your beliefs that you have of yourself i get a lot of like self-confidence here and look at that yeah we have drink of five manifesting money and income ah this is gorgeous and we have here healing again so i really feel like what you don't see coming is how far this healing you've been doing on yourself is actually working and is actually helping you move forward um and obviously i feel like what you don't see coming is the absurd amount of money that is coming through uh, and just, I feel like it's, it's essentially growth in your career. Uh, I really feel like things are going to move really, really fast in a very beautiful way. And it is all because of you, of who you are and who you're becoming and this beautiful healing that you're doing. So that is really, really good. I also feel like with this abracadabra with wings, um, the, it's feeling a little bit like life purpose. So I do feel like this is sort of a confirmation of like whatever you're doing, you're doing good, you're on the path, you're on the right path, you're really uh, doing what you're supposed to be doing, don't worry about um, maybe being on the wrong path or doing things wrong or being behind schedule, you're not. I really feel like you're not, I really feel like you're doing great and this candle is going nuts. Um, and another thing with that abracadabra with wings is the reason why the candle is going nuts is that I feel like you have you have a lot of spirit guides with you that are helping you out, maybe even like um, uh, a deceased loved one, you know, could be uh, guiding you and supporting you through every step you take. And uh, for some of you, this could actually be like about teaching or teaching you in whatever way that resonates for you. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be like teaching, teaching. It could be like guiding, being of service, helping someone, you know. Uh, but I do feel like there is this thing of like, perhaps you teaching others something that you know or just sharing your gifts and that is automatically teaching other people, you know, or sharing your mindsets, whatever, whatever this is about. I do feel like there is something here around like teaching and it could also be talking about like the life lessons that you have endured, the things that you have gone through. Those were teachings. Those were lessons that you had to, to go through for you to be able to now be in this place where you're able to manifest money like this just fast and in an incredible way. So this is gorgeous. Let's Pull some tarot here to um, get some more information. So we have Knight of Wands, Two of Cups. Oh boy. 
well, I guess it's both. <laughs> I was talking about like, uh, this could be like new love or new beginning in love. And I guess you're getting both. Shabam. Nice. So, Knight of Wands, Two Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Sun. Uh, I kind of feel like you could be at this moment of like Knight of Wands. Not necessarily, you know, Knight of Wands can be seen as the player. I don't necessarily see it as the player. I do see it as you having fun. And perhaps even you exploring other options in your career. You know, that's why you're also getting um, the shadow treasures from career and this money. Um, I do feel like there is something here about like you setting yourself free and just not um, putting any boundaries on yourself, not limiting yourself, not limiting your potential. And because of it, you're actually attracting a romantic partnership here as well. And I do feel like that is also something that you may not see coming because... Um, you know, you could be so focused on trying to manifest this money, on trying to get your career together and your relationship with yourself together that you may not realize the, the like how big the impact is on your relationships, particularly um, a, a certain relationship here, romantic relationship. Someone is coming towards you with an offer and we do have some Leo energy here, by the way, so summer could be significant. Um, and maybe this is something like this whole self-acceptance thing could be something that you have been going through from Sag season. It, it could be like earlier than that. It could be later than that. But maybe Sag season, something happened here that was really like pushing you forward. Maybe that was when you actually started to shift into a more career focused vibe. Um, and I really get this thing of like you're, you've detached yourself from love a little bit. Um, and like not, I, I feel like you're not putting too much pressure on love. You know and because of it you're actually allowing love to grow and someone is definitely coming towards with an offer that is going to make you very very happy um and with this sun this is also about like all the feelings being you know uh being put out there so i really feel like someone is coming forward with all the truth and really um just telling you everything that they feel it and what they want to build with you what they want to create here with you and i do feel like it is going to lead to a beautiful relationship and um it just it's gonna make you happy essentially <laughs> uh when it comes to career i'm also getting that the key here is really going to be about you following your heart it is really like don't think too much we are talking here a lot about money a lot about you manifesting that money but your that manifestation of money is not going to happen from a place of uh i don't know like a material view of stuff i really feel like that manifestation of money is going to happen just because you are vibing with yourself just because you're following your heart, just. That's sometimes not the easiest thing, but I really feel like your faith in yourself, your faith in your heart, that is really going to manifest like a bunch of um, blessings, a bunch of opportunities for you, okay? So let's pull here a final little message that you may need. Oh, look at that, we have bloom and attract more than butterflies. How oh, funny, I asked for a butterfly symbol, uh, sign. We have change, has with falling leaves, embrace change. So don't be afraid. We were talking about like, um, we were talking about like adjustments, like something that wasn't really working and now is really taking off, perhaps in a different way. And I feel like it, that is what your spirit guides are asking you is like, um, don't limit yourself to a certain view of things and just go with that heart, just go with that flow and really try to see where it's taking you, really try to see where it is leading you and what you can bring from it, you know? Uh, I really feel like there is this thing of like, not a lot of pressure, because it's so interesting that we have this, uh, you know, manifesting money and income that is coming forward. However, in the tarot, we have no pentacle at all because it's not about the material thing, you know? it's it's. I almost say that you're manifesting success and success does not necessarily have to be money you know what is success to you that is what you're manifesting that is what you don't see coming that is actually happening faster than what you um may be aware of okay that is really beautiful we also have some sag and scorpio energy by the way um so we were talking about sag season you, it could be a sag that you're connecting with uh, but I do feel like summer is going to be quite significant. And actually, the day that this video is uploaded, it is the summer solstice, if I'm not wrong. So, happy summer. <laughs> it could happen today, who knows. But 
yeah, so Capricorn Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button to, and to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and there is going to be a link below for a cusp survey that I would really appreciate it if you would go fill it out if you haven't already for me to get to know a little bit more about your cusp, okay? So, with that being said, I wish you the freaking best. I love you very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.